So y'all just gonna let Sapphire think she won that fight? Listen, Rolly Sus, I don't know if the BBL is getting to your brain and it got your wires crossed, but you over here giving Sapphire and Mariah's tens all because you don't like Mariah. And that ain't cool. All right? Everything is all mixed up. Everybody's stories is all mixed up, sis, but we about to iron it right on out. Let's talk about it, baby, because this is a big deal. Let's go. Oh, shit. Here we go again. My wig is slipping, y'all. My wig is slipping. I don't know what's going on with it. My hair is just... Anyway. Um, what's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not been here before, baby, which I'm pretty sure you or auntie sitting next to you, grandma in the kitchen, cooking up the biscuits, have not, do me a favor and do my Jawbreaker fam a favor if you want to become a Jawbreaker. And like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe for me, daddy. Subscribe for me, daddy. Subscribe for me, daddy. Let me see your grill. And do me one more favor. Just one more. Turn on my post notifications so you can be alerted when I upload a new video. Girl, let's get into it. So look, y'all. And I do mean comment right now. Stop what you're doing and just go drop some hearts or some 100 emojis or hey, big mouth, whatever you want in the comments. Do it now. I'll wait. Bitch, do it, I'll fight you. Anyway, um, <laughs> on to the review, girl. It wasn't really much to talk about this week. I'm going to be for real with y'all. Girl, this is really not fucking with me. What's going on with this do-rag? Girl, I just bought it. Why is it not? Anyway, girl, it wasn't nothing to talk about this week. It was really uneventful. I'm going to be for real with y'all. I think um, since we coming to the end of the season, y'all know how Lemon Pepper Step a bitch gets. Uh, he started take. He ain't got much footage left. I'm just going to, that's what's going on, okay? They don't have much footage left, okay? We're nearing the end of the season. So they're trying to take the last, what really should be the last episode, the last two episodes, and trying to stretch it out for the next few weeks until they get ready to, uh, to the reunion is edited and is ready to be released. Y'all know we get to this point of every, every, every season at the, towards the end, girl. It started getting real plain Jane uh, 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 uh. this whole the whole episode was just dedicated to going to see Biggie family and I just didn't like it but um the family visit was cute okay so I ain't gonna do too much we're gonna get right into it so the uh the episode picks up with the last one left off girl where they just <clears throat> getting it in in the sand with, with Bianca Bonnie and she done ran to the car and held up in the car now we gotta backslide a little bit because Roly I didn't really like the synopsis you gave on the fight because Roly tried to say Mariah got her ass whooped just because she don't like Mariah you know they got into it last season or whatever on Baddies East and um you know she don't like Mariah at all so she tried to say that Sapphire won her fight and Mariah lost her fight. Now, I think everybody was just giving Sapphire her tens because they wanted Sapphire to win because of what kept happening. She kept getting spat on. She kept, uh, Bianca kept ducking the fade. So they just really wanted Sapphire to win. Like, and I think that everybody kind of just gave her that, ed, I mean, that dub when she didn't really take it. So, baby, I'm going to just be for real with you, Sapphire. From the fight I saw, it looked like Y'all was both giving each other the hands. It looked like y'all was going toe to toe. Okay, she was grabbing you by your hair and socking you with one hand, and you was um socking her. You was grabbing her with one hand and socking her with the other hand. So both of y'all was giving each other the one hand combo with y'all heads to the left. It didn't really look like neither one of y'all won or lost. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. And then when she fought uh Mariah, they was going blow for blow. And Mariah's blows look like they was landing a little bit better than Bianca. So that's why I said Mariah won. I don't I don't know what fight you saw, Roly. And like I said, I think that you was just saying stuff because you don't like Mariah. But yeah, y'all got it twisted. Sapphire did not win that fight against Bianca. If anything, they tied. If anything, they tied. But um, yeah, and Mariah kind of gave her the hands. So moving on from that. So Bianca's held up in the car and she won't get out. Now, Bianca, this was real pussy of you. I'm just going to be for real, Bianca. I don't like you. I never did, but I'm not going to give you too much because I didn't gave you a lot this season. I'm going to just say this, sis. This whole episode was like your personality in a nutshell. It was just your personality in a nutshell. Like you spitting trash behavior. You having the same outfit on that you had on from the last episode. I mean, from Lemmy Well Birthday Party, trash behavior. You doing what you did, spitting on somebody, um, throwing shit at them and then running behind security and then running to the car and getting in the car and locking yourself in the car and then rolling the window down, spitting out the window. Like, just 
I had to really, uh, after this episode, I had to look up her age. I did not know that uh, Chicken Noodle Soup was 33 years old. This is a grown-ass woman. 33 years old. Spitting at people. Hiding out in the car. <sighs> Just embarrassing. Wearing the same clothes. Oh, anyway. Uh, but we, we, go, we get it, boo. Let's move on. So that was Bianca's last stand or whatever the case is. Sapphire and them outside the car trying to get her to come out the car and she won't come out. Girl, the whole damn cast and got off the boat and came and sat in front of the car trying to get Bianca out the car and it just didn't work. So that was Bianca's last scene. She refused to get out the car and they drove her away and um, she did her little exit, her little exit confessional looking lame as hell. Um, like I said, I I want Bianca to come to the reunion because I want everybody to beat her ass. I just want her to get her. No, oh, I got it. That's bad. You can't say that. Yeah, I don't want to wish bad on her. I don't know. I don't like her. I just don't. She is a very despicable person. I don't like people that spit on people. I really don't. I remember when I was in fourth grade, somebody spit, a boy spit in my face and ran home. We was getting off the bus and a boy, too, spit in my face. It was the first time anybody ever did that and the last time, bitch. And that pussy ass hoe ran up the street after he did it, girl. And I caught him in gym class the next day and blew his shit out baby okay whoa that ass out in gym class that uh i ain't gonna tell y'all the name of my middle school girl because then y'all gonna know too much but um yeah i told that ass up in gym class the next day baby sixth grade yeah um so i don't like people that spit i gotta you know i had a flashback when that happened i just really don't I, I just really don't really don't really don't you know and bianca you're just very trash for that anyway moving on to the boat Rolly on the boat lying. Natalie and all of them on the boat trying to recap. Everybody giving Bianca her tens. And you know what? I mean, not Bianca, but Sapphire her tens. Except the Asian doll. Asian doll was kind of sitting back watching it all, taking it all in. Because I think the girls was watching the fight from the boat. I don't know if they saw it or not. But I think I think other people on the boat knew the truth, too. They didn't really think Sapphire won either. But, um, yeah. Then we move on, girl. Or whatever the case is. And we get to Mariah and Rowley. Mariah then stormed off. We just found out. I guess she was so, you know, up in, up in arms about what Rowley said. I don't know why Rowley's opinion really mattered that much to her. But she was, I guess Rowley told her that she felt like she didn't win, well, win the fight. And then Mariah got, you know, start, you know, breaking down and she just left. So, honestly, to tell you the truth, I think Rowley and Mariah need to fight. I know the size difference is what it is. But I think, I don't think they're going to resolve anything. I don't think they like each other. I think it's going to eventually come to blows. I think what it is is another case of, you know, it's a little bit of both. It's another case of Rowley trying to pick on a pretty bitch. That's that's what it's always going to be. Rowley going to always find a pretty, a bitch that look better than her and, and swing on her. That's just her formula. And um, I think it's also a fact that Mariah is a shit starter. Mariah do talk a lot of shit behind people's backs and then try to come in front of people and then forget what she said. So I think that's another thing too that Rowley don't like. Um, moving on from that, the rest of the episode was real, real boring. So... I guess Meatball and Biggie didn't got into it. And we on the next day now. We supposed to be going to see Biggie uh, uh, family, you know, her La Familia or whatever the case is on the side of the, uh, of the ocean. And Meatball won't get up. So, few things. I don't know why the fuck y'all were trying to make it seem like everybody was going, like everybody who was who was up banging pots and pans was going to see Biggie family when it only ended up being Anna and Tzatziki. We could have, y'all could have really let Meatball sleep in and let all the rest of them bitches just do what they wanted to do, girl. We didn't need this. Um, but yeah, so Meatball don't want to get up because her and Biggie didn't got into it and she feel like Biggie fake. Meatball, Biggie is not being fake to you. Biggie is being exactly who the fuck Biggie is, okay? Biggie is one of the baddies and she don't see it for you just like the rest of them don't see it for you. No shade, no tea. Um, I ain't gonna say Biggie's like, you know, she ain't, you know, she like the honorary baddie too. But at the same time, like, girl, I feel like Biggie didn't work hard enough with clout. You know, building up her clout on social media and stuff like that to where Biggie is accepted amongst the baddies. And she not about to step outside of that for no bitch. Especially not no girl that look like you. No shade, girl. Like, no no girl that don't got it together. You know, so I just feel like, girl, it's a limit to how much loyalty Biggie gonna show you. It's a limit to how much loyalty any of them girls is gonna show you, girl. Because at the end of the day, sis, I don't think any girl there is truly willing to be friends you. Like, I don't think any girl there is truly willing to, you know what I'm saying, let you taint their image with how you look and how you act and the stuff you do. I don't think that's the case. So I don't think any girl there is willing to be your friend. And I think that's what Meatball is meaning to say when she say, these are some fake ass bitches. They not fake bitches, boo. They just don't like you like that. You cool for the stay, but girl, they don't like you like that. And I think you having a hard time getting it to your, through your head because Tinker got accepted and you didn't. And, and I think any any person who doesn't give Meatball 
Oh, come here, baby. Give me, cry on my shoulder. Any person who doesn't give me ball that, she gonna say they being fake. So the whole cast is fake. But anyway, <clears throat> we move on. And they do this long ass three hour ride around the island to get to uh, Biggie's people over at, um, I don't know where the hell they was at. West Bubba Fuck, Punta, Punta, Punta somebody girl. And they get over there and Biggie family, I'm going to be for real with y'all. Biggie family was really sweet. I mean, really sweet. They were really sweet. I don't need to tell you the truth. I don't know how the fuck Biggie act the way she do when she come from a family like that. They are very respectful. You know, her, her, her Nana was very nice. She made them uh skirts and everything. They, um, had drinks and stuff out there for them. They was telling them history lessons about the island. It was just a real cool vibe. I fuck with Biggie family. And honestly, that was a good scene that we got to see something real wholesome up in the midst of all of this bullshit. Okay. Up in, the gorillas in the midst, but you know, um, in the midst of all of that girl, we got to see something real cute, real sweet. I liked it, but that was pretty much the end of the episode. Uh, we can't really, I don't know. Didn't too much else happen. So girl, that's all I really got to talk about. But, um, yeah, the episode was kind of boring, y'all. We coming to the end of the season. We nearing, nearing the end of it. And, girl, they're going to stretch the drama out for as long as they can. Now, I did find it weird that Big Kiva, they put Big Kiva, Nunu, and Diamond in the same sprinter van to get the, for a three-hour drive. I think they was trying to make something happen there. They was trying to maybe maybe start a fight that didn't, you know, or something like that. Because that was just real weird. Y'all could have did that better. Y'all could have did the seating arrangements a hell of a lot better. For a three-hour trip, sis. Y'all knew they was going to... Or y'all thought they was going to get into it. But um, I do want to talk to y'all about the Diamond and Tzatziki situation. So, I'm going to come back to y'all with another video. Um, but, yeah. That's it. I'm sorry, y'all. This this is, this episode really didn't give me much to go off of. I know, girl. Y'all like Big Mouth. Why you being so boring, girl? Because it didn't really give me nothing. It didn't give us nothing. It was just a boring-ass episode. But, uh, yeah. Y'all can go ahead and end the season. But, all right. I'll talk to y'all later. But, with, oh, I got to come back with Jocelyn's Cabaret. Jocelyn's Cabaret season one... Uh, season, season Texas season premiere. But I'm going to come back to y'all with Jocelyn's Cabaret and I'll talk to y'all later, boo. Bye!